Hello, what's up, guys? Welcome to your first tutorial in Ruby. And in this tutorial, we're about to talk about Ruby programming language, what it is, what it's used for. So let's get to it. Ruby programming language. Uh, Ruby programming language was created by Yukihiro Matsumoto. I don't know if you how to explain it, but all the thing you just have to put in mind that is the guy is from the guy is a Japanese guy. Uh, he started working on it in February 24, 1993. And the question you might have is, what is Ruby? One thing that you have to put in mind is that Ruby programming language is an open source, which means it is a free software. And the other thought that you have to put in mind is that Ruby is a server-side programming language. It's just like Python and Perl. Uh, also, the other thing that you have to put also in mind is that Ruby is an object-oriented programming language. It's just like C++. Also, some other developers, they believe that some of the, uh, some of the, the, the things that you could do with Java, you can also do it also in Ruby. That's one of the thoughts that you have to put in mind. Also, also, uh, what the other question you might have in mind is what is used for? Ruby is mainly used for internet. is mainly used for internet applications or intranet applications. And uh, you might have many questions right now, like, so where is it useful? Where, what are some, what are the, some of the websites that are using Ruby? Uh, Twitter, Amazon, and Groupon. They use Twitter, Amazon, and Groupon. They use Ruby programming language. So. Ruby programming language. You can also go as an on Wikipedia and research some of the stuff on, on it. But this is one of the stuff, some of the stuff that I, I, I researched and some of the stuff that, that I know about Ruby programming language. So guys, leave a com if you have any question, leave a comment on my YouTube channel. Or you can also follow me on Twitter, African Programmer. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks guys for watching.